celebrity get me out of here now. After two days of evidence, the coroner concluded that Caroline Flack had intended to end her own life. In many ways, a victim of her own celebrity. We've laughed with you, we've cried with you, but most of all, we've fallen in love with you. She couldn't bear the shame of appearing at court. Despite warnings from her solicitors that her mental health was fragile, police and prosecutors decided she must face a criminal trial. Lawyers originally indicated what happened in this house should be dealt with by giving her a caution. Her boyfriend, Lewis Burton, was asleep when she found text messages from another woman and hit him. Police called this domestic abuse and appealed for her to be charged with assault. Her mother, Christine, said, I will never get Caroline back, but I want to make it clear she was not an abuser. She told Detective Inspector Lauren Bateman, I think you should be disgusted with yourself. That girl killed herself because you put an appeal through. Christine Flack believes Caroline was treated differently because she was a celebrity. Tonight, she accused the CPS and Metropolitan Police of a cover-up. <laughs> Caroline had stepped down from her presenting roles. Her mother claims that the authorities wanted to make an example of her, exaggerating the injuries she'd caused to her boyfriend. Addressing the family directly, coroner Mary Hassel said Caroline had what some people saw as a charmed life. But the more famous she became, the more her mental difficulties increased. And when she'd learnt for certain she was going to be prosecuted, she couldn't face the storm of publicity and media that she believed would come down upon her. Her family described Caroline as beautiful, fun, full of confidence and full of fears. They ended by saying, you are loved. Those that would have harmed you can't touch you now. Juliet Bremner, ITV News.